because I have young children and I know how stupid kids are, and I say that with all love in my heart, but they say ridiculous things mm -hmm. all the time. And one of the things that's been concerning to me is to hear so many celebrities try to, I guess, validate the stupidity of children and pretending and going, well, this must be real. Most certainly what comes to mind, I, I believe Charlize Theron had a daughter or a son, but the story goes one day in the bathtub, bathtub my son or daughter looked up at me and said, mommy, I'm a, I'm a girl. And that was it. That Charlize Theron then allowed her child to begin transitioning. And that to me sounds like a mental disorder that the parent is suffering for some reason. And a lot of the times I've noticed this trend that it does tend to be single women that sort of encourage this thing. So I'd like to ask you if you're, you have a son. Mm -hmm. And a daughter. And your son's how old? My son's four. Okay, he's four, perfect and age. My daughter's six. If your son was in a bathtub and your son said anything in the bathtub, dad, I'm a mermaid. Why would you then say, well, this must really mean that my four-year-old toddler, who also thinks he can fly, who also thinks like Santa Claus is real and can squeeze down the, ch the chimney, why is it this thing that people go, oh, well, this must be a sign that my child's really struggling with identity? Yeah, I mean, I think that's, a, that's very early. I would say just me being a new parent, right? And what's crazy about the mermaid thing, my son likes to follow his sister, right? He loves her and whatever she does, he wants to do. Same with me back then. I used to double dutch and jump rope before I, you know, started to hang out with my friends. Um, just because I wanted to follow my big sister. She got a mermaid outfit, he wanted one. So I got him a mermaid, he wanted to be a merman. But, cause she was in, you know, she was swimming with the merc. So I'm like, all right, you wanna be a merman? Then cool, I'll get you one. Um, but I didn't think of it in the sense of that yet, just because, you know, again, they're young and um, and they're learning things as they go, you know? And so, I wanted to piggyback off that as well, sorry to cut no, you no. off, is with, that was like a really valid question, but I have to state that with my mom, what she did was, it wasn't a validation of really how I thought and acted on it straight away. My mom was a listener. So my mom never shut me down for the things that I'd verbalize, but as for like, counseling and transition that was done way later and that was never to punish me but it was all always like my mom was like a soundboard but she never pushed yeah and you right. said, so and I you think said that's that important. you said you kept it quiet for oh yeah I totally oh, internalized yeah. because you see what the world says and you're like oh sugar this isn't I'm um, normal I'll just be quiet yeah but I guess what I'm I'm trying to say here is that your mother even now even if you're older and you make a decision, for your mother to go back into a memory of something that every child goes through, they just say stupid stuff, they right. want to be mermaids. Yeah. They don't even understand. I mean, the first time we watched a Disney movie, my son said, I'm a princess. And I said, yeah. no, you're a prince. Right. And now you're seeing this sort of people trying to go backward. And I don't know if they're doing this out of protection or out of love and trying to pretend that they just want to validate the experience that you're having. But I don't feel comf I don't feel like, oh, this must be real because you said this started when I was four. Yeah. I, the, first thing that comes to my head is mommy's got some issues, right? Because it's not like your mother said this, you know, whatever, you were a kid when you were a toddler. Yeah. But then I really noticed this thing when you were 18 years old and you're, well, actually your brain develops at the age of 26 years old. So that makes me a little bit uncomfortable yeah. because I, I do think, and I do see this pattern of single moms. Um, and also just what you spoke to, you said I had an older sister. This is yeah. exactly right. So my daughter will is much more of a roughhouser because she's following my son who is the oldest. Mm -hmm. So she grabs swords, she wants to fight. Now, I was a tomboy. I went through a phase where I had like, I think all girls go through this like tomboy phase, but I went through a phase when I was in fifth grade and I was acting, you know, I, I wanted to just play with the boys, thought the boys were having more fun. I just thank God that this wasn't fashionable at the time. And I know that you're-, you're It definitely wasn't, wasn't yeah. fashionable, yeah. But now like, it's hello, like parents <laughs> are just like, yeah. yay, I want my kid yeah. to be different and I'm throwing them into this. Right. Why do we care so much when it's like 1%? It's like 1% of Americans right that that actually suffer from that that are actually dealing with that but it seems like we're terrified it's became a crazy political topic and i wonder why like why are we giving it that much energy why do we care about these cats if that's what they want to do y'all go ahead and do it um i i don't think that people should be in in the bathrooms <laughs> um if if it's not whatever you were born as that's just my my opinion of it but I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll accept that if that's what y'all want to do. I don't have a problem with people doing what they want to do with their lives. 
right? As long as you don't try to push it in my face. Pause. Like, just y'all do what y'all do on that side and <laughs> stay on that side. Y'all not bothering me until y'all start intrus- intruding on my life and my family's life. If that's what y'all want to do, man, it's a lot of it's a lot of freaks out here, man. We we're behaving as if everybody's, you know, vanilla out here. It's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of people just. I think that's the problem. They just so. Ha- yeah, What's the problem? I think the reason why this is even a conversation is for the very reasons that you said that you don't like. You know what oh mean? yeah, well, this I'm is the against, reason why it's I'm even a conversation. That. I'm against people trying to push it in our face. I don't. I don't. I don't agree with that at all. Y'all just y'all do what y'all right. do. It, and but that, yeah, but that's the reason why that's the problem. If it's well, yeah, only one, if it's only one percent, well, we if it's one yeah, percent, like, why do why is it being shoved in our face, Paul? That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's yeah. that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. If it's one percent, why why do we see it so much? Why do we? I think it's becoming like this because we give it so much energy. It's almost like the chicken or the egg argument. But I feel like if we didn't give it that much energy and we just said, "Man, y'all do what y'all do on that side. I don't care. That's fine." But now, when you start getting people who are in charge of things, you got producers that, um, or directors or whatever that feel like they must include it into what me and my children are watching, and, and we don't really want to see that, and we don't really want to um, have the wrong sex in the bathroom. That's not that's not what we want to do, and we definitely don't want our daughters competing with dudes in any type in of sports. Sport. So that's so, crazy. Uh, so so that that that's a problem. That's a problem, and that's why that type of stuff we gotta chill with. Like we have to just let them do what they do. I, listen, I, I'm I'm for just giving them a league. We need a third league for anybody who has gender dysmorphia. Let them have their own league, and whoever want to watch it, let them watch it. And the dudes and the chicks would go together because it wouldn't really matter because they all in between anyways, right? Or even if you want four <laughs> leagues, whatever. All right. My, right. But my issue lies more with, that's how I with some of these things. My issue lies more with with some of these things that they um, the, the accolades that they start to give them. Like you know, they'll nominate someone that's trans for Woman of the Year. You know what I mean? And then they'll you know they'll give uh, Brittany what's that? What's the girl name? The, the Hooper. Um, what's her name? I ain't Griner. Uh, no, uh, Griner. Griner. Right. They'll yeah. they'll nominate her for Father of the Year. You feel me? Like, what are we talking about? Like, and it just becomes like, do you know what it's like explaining that when it pops up on TV to your five year old son? Like, what are they talking about? Yeah, I don't, you know I don't what like I mean. Just how, puts, no, I get it. Mr. Yeah, Wheaties, so it's just, Mr. Wheaties it, became Woman of the Year. That's outrageous. That's but what I'm saying. That, yeah, but I think what's his name? Uh, Bruce Jenner, right? Yeah, yeah. it was. Yeah. yeah, so you know what I mean, and that's what I'm saying. Like, come on, man, what we what are we talking about? And yeah, that was something I, I I had to explain. Go ahead, my bad. Oh no, you good, bro? Go ahead. Yeah. So uh, hey, yeah, it was you, one of those things. Me, you sent me for something that got this domain has been suspended. See, see what I do, Viz. When somebody give me the information, I'm right on it. Congratulations. You want a cookie? <laughs> I'm gonna send you that Dr. Seuss book. I don't care what you all say. I'm gonna send you that you six a, pack of Dr. You Seuss. You want book. a cookie, bro? I'll, I'll I'll mail it to you. Where you at in New York? What? You in the Bronx? You trying I'll, to flirt I'll, with me? I'll, I'll, I don't want I'll, cookies I'll, from you. I'll send you a chocolate chip cookie, bro. Nah, I'm good. With with some with some uh with some uh almond milk. You look like, <laughs> you, you look like you're on drink cow. Wait, wait, wait. I'll, I'll, no, hey, matter of hey, fact, you saw how he you, said you, almond milk. You probably, want, you, you probably <laughs> want some soy milk. My bad. I got you. Chocolate chip. Cookie. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all remind me of the cast of the Hateful Eight, boy. I tell you. <laughs> hey, he tried to save you, but that domain is not long, is no longer there. No. I wonder why it got pulled down. I went on it. You can look. Look at what he sent me. I went on hey, it. Can we just look, can't oh, we just look up his, can we look up his policies with the LGBT community and just I'm sure it'll come up. No, watch this. I'm going to. I started doing my research once it was announced. I'm one of them that What's does that. So 
when we have these discussions, right? I could be in the know, but when you tell me go look it up and you talk on it, you like that dude that give me the base head knowledge in front of the bodega while eating that chopped cheese and drinking that 40. Nah, I don't nah, do that. Nah. Kenny, the, the, link said is, chopped the link is valid. <laughs> the link is valid. You gotta, you gotta yeah. check out what. <laughs> Check it out. So in 2023, an executive order signed by Waltz made Minnesota among the first states to safeguard access to gender affirming health care and laws signed by the governor since banned conversion therapy and the use of gay and trans panic defenses. So that's the one you can do it as young as you want. And you ain't even got to tell your parents. I, I think I, that's I, wrong. I, I, I just typed I, I just wrong. put two of them. I just put two of them in the chat for you, Kenny. I, I, you put I know two you, of them in the chat. Yeah, Am I spurning I, you to finally do research and stand on something? No, yes, not Lord. at all. No, not at all. Not at all, man. I, I'm trying I, to. I, 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 I just want to keep this conversation. Let's keep this conversation moving, man. Go ahead, Mike. Yes, sir. Go ahead, Mike. I'm just trying to make sure I get your cookies to you, man. That's all. Y'all are hell. <laughs> Don't want no cookies from no man. All right, go ahead, Mike. White. Oh shit! You're gonna have to pass me on this one. I kind of missed you. I'll jump in. I'll jump in. I'll 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 just go to the next one. We can just (laughs) trash this if we want to. Uh, I I, uh, Shannon had something to say. Go ahead, Shannon. Yeah, I just threw you. Shannon, you ain't got nothing to say. Oh, I can always talk. I can talk on anything. Uh, what's let's see. Candace Owen says trans people should accept that they have a mental disorder. Um, let's see. Trev was talking about the one percent, you know, that stuck out to me. And I'm here in Hollywood, I'm a film producer, so you guys know, you know, we care, Trev, because that one percent is affecting the 99, it affects the 99 percent's kids, it affects the 99 percent's careers. And it affects the 99 percent livelihood. You would think that it's just like, oh, don't worry about them. It's just it's like a, a buzzing gnat that's just irritant. You just swat it away and let them. But it's not. And it, uh, once again, you know, the, the term loud minority always rears its head when you got certain people that's out here saying, look at me. And I, I we having two earthquakes right now. So my whole house is shaking and shit. No shit. Um, yeah, right. live right now. My house is shaking. Um, it might um, be God right. telling you your job on the line. <laughs> no, my I can't. I can't. Hey, but Kenny, you're not gonna fact check them. You ain't. You but ain't uh, all niggas is man. <laughs> so, so hey, Sweeney, I heard him. So with that one percent. I heard him. That one percent is a is a is a is 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 is, is causing the is, is that one percent is kicking over the furniture in the ninety nine percent's houses. And so the push it in my face thing is what they're actually doing. And that's what people are pushing back for. And that's why it's such a loud thing. You know, the diagnostic and statistics manual was created in the, in the 50s, you know, the, originally. And it was revised in 94. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. The DSM-4 came out in 94. And it called... Uh, what does it say? Um, uh, uh, transphobia or transgender, a mental disorder. It called it actually it was called gender identity disorder. That's what it was called for 50, 50, 60 years. And then the DSM five came out in 2012. And when the DSM five came out um, in 2012, just just 12 years ago, they changed it. They changed it. and They got rid of the gender identity disorder and they got rid of the disorder part. And they put that's when they put in just uh, dys- dysphoria. So now they call it gender dysphoria because they didn't want it to be considered a disorder. And so people, and, and what they were saying is when it comes to gender, which is different than sex, people can pretty much identify what they want, even if it's different than what they were assigned at birth. And it's a part of normal human expression it's just it's just like an art form and shit and you know what man now the five says that it's a personal choice 
is it a, it's, it's a personal choice. So you can wake up one day and say, that's what I am. I'm going to be this. And that's a personal choice. It has nothing to do with a mental problem. Candace rejects that. Candace, she's going with the, the 60 years of what the DSM 1, 2, 3, and 4 went with. And she rejects what the five did because a lot of people saying the five was changed for political reasons. The five was changed because you got when you get it, when you get to a, a point where, you know, transgenders are in are in office and, you know, the, the alphabet community starts passing laws themselves. The next thing you know, policy starts changing and Candace rejects that. And a lot of conservatives reject that and they say no 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 we're not going to just change it because you know the rainbow community is now in is up there passing laws to, to be able to change this book and to make you guys feel better let's go with the science of it but their argument is well that is the science well you know what i'm not an expert on that but i will say this her argument is okay then can you say if I'm attracted, to, or if one, not me, I mean, not even use me. If if a person is attracted, <laughs> if, a, if, a, if a if a if a 45 year old man is attracted to 12 year old girls, and he likes to look at them creepy and all that other kind of stuff, was that just a personal choice of his? It has nothing to do with his mental. He, has, he just he just wants to he just wants to do bad things to little 12 year old girls and he just made a personal choice one day that that's what he wanted to do or is it something is there, is there a screw loose can 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 somebody just wake up one day and say i'm an elephant you know that's just what i am and i identify with being an elephant there's people that do body changes and they change their they they mutilate their their, their bodies to turn into dogs and creatures and lizards we got lizard ladies and all we got all this is that a mental disorder or is that just a personal choice i would argue personally that's a mental disorder yeah. so then yeah. why yeah. Is one, huh why is and one considered a mental disorder or well, no why are many considered a mental disorder and this one somehow gets to escape that uh, that moniker is it political if if you if you if you if you're gonna be if we're gonna be objectively truthful, yeah, it is. So, so do you feel like it's okay? My bad. Go ahead. So yeah, I, I feel like I personally feel this is just and I this is a non diagnostic This is non med. I don't know nothing about nothing. I am far removed from being a doctor. I do not know. This is just something. This is a personal conviction. If you gonna call somebody who is a, attracted to little girls and he's 45 years old a mental disorder i'm gonna do the same thing over here that's just me do you think there's some type, some of, type gateway? of gateway do you think that they're they're uh they're priming us right now to be able to accept so, being a pdf file is that is that uh yeah. trying to where you're going you know, with remember it? i'm a conspiracy theorist man you know when the movie armageddon came out you guys remember that movie armageddon and in, in the, in the um yeah. the asteroids are getting ready to hit the Vince earth and, yeah. you know we look at Vince all this Willis. stuff yeah, with Bruce Willis, that dope movie. A lot of times, I be, I be wondering, a lot of movies that we watch, a lot of stuff, I be wondering, where does this stuff come from? Is it, are they prepping us? Is, is are, are they, so, so we're desensitized to a certain thing, and that's what propaganda is, right? If you guys understand the term and the definition of the word propaganda, propaganda is, you know, they did this really well during World War I, World War II, where they dropped flyers in certain, in certain towns. When you, when you, this is how they treat black, they did black people. When you condition somebody to believe something like three fifths of a man or, you know, black people have tails, shit like that, then or you. Or guns are bad. Yeah, or, or guns are evil, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, or what, you know, and that's just another shot at my man, Kenny. But when you, when you, when you propagandize a certain thing, it becomes more palatable later on when you want to move a law or you want to change laws or you want to move a large crowd of people like country size people country size crowds to do a certain thing for your own personal reasons so when you ask me well shan do you think they're kind of like they 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 putting us on the transgender thing so they can prep us for the other stuff that's coming down the pike in 2035 
So then when 2035 come, we're going to be like, ah, oh, whatever. Because in 2020, you know, 11 years ago, we didn't really care. So why should we care about this? Mm-hmm. Yep. Man, ain't that how they do everything? Slippery slope. Yep. Yeah. 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 That's how they riled us up for 9-11. You know, weapons of mass destruction. I remember I was ready to go back to, to the military. Every The whole country the entire galvanized country. together. Almost. If my wife, if my wife wasn't mad. pregnant with my oldest, I would have went to the military. That's how I like on 9-11. Yeah. Well, yep. You said I remember exactly. Yes. I, I'm sorry. I'm sure some of you guys remember. I know exactly where my feet were standing that morning of September 11th, 19. I mean, 2001. And I remember yep. seeing and, and the rage that I had and we were being attacked yep. and all of this. And then when they said Jumping it was the, mass yeah. destruction and all of this, all of it just to turn out to be what it was. It's like, yo, they prepped. <laughs> they set me up, they set me up. Yes. and now i thank god we have like mediums like we can communicate I, see i couldn't talk to you guys in 2001 it was just me and my bubble oh. in here in la but now i can talk to you guys and mm-hmm. we, can, we can exchange information and what you what you thinking over there in chicago and what's going on what's mm-hmm. the house what, what's the what's the word on the street in, in uh in, in in atlanta and how's it going in houston right now what what, what y'all talking about well over here in la this is what we saying so we could communicate now and i think they're worried about that kind of stuff so yeah, I do think that it is they're trying to prep us for a, a big change, Trev. Absolutely. 